Welcome to a Kytor Industries tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through how to clean a PCB in an ultrasonic cleaner. It's pretty straightforward and this is not too difficult. Uh, you just need to make sure you have the right stuff. Now this is a PCB that I soldered earlier today and it is of course covered in flux and we want to get that off, make the board nice and clean and nice and presentable. Um, now there are certain types of boards that you probably shouldn't put in an ultrasonic cleaner. For example, if it has a uh, crystal oscillator or maybe some other sensitive equipment or a component that is open to the air like a buzzer, for example. Um, but this board is just uh, connectors, a diode and a wire. So we're, we're perfectly okay putting this in the ultrasonic cleaner. Now you're gonna need a few things to make this happen. You're going to need uh, isopropyl alcohol. I have 99.9% .9 here in a dispenser and a spray bottle. This is what you wanna get. You might be able to get away with 91%. I wouldn't really recommend it, but if you're in a pinch, it'll probably do. It's just gonna take a lot more convincing. Um, don't even bother with the 70%. You're just wasting your time with that. And you're going to need a solvent. Now you can get specialty um, PCB cleaning solvents for ultrasonic cleaners. Don't recommend that for home use. You're not an industrial company. Instead, just get Simple Green Crystal. This stuff is great. It's safe to use on PCBs. You just need to make sure it is crystal and not uh, multi-purpose. It's something like 15 parts water to one part Simple Green. This isn't chemistry class, so it doesn't really have to be perfect. You can measure it out if you really want, but I just eyeball it and it's, it's fine. Um, for the water side, uh, if you're unsure about your water quality, run down to the store and grab some distilled water. It's only a buck or two a gallon. Um, I have a uh, filtration system and a water softener here, so I don't really need to worry about that. Um, if your water quality is poor, what's the consequence of that? You will probably end up with deposits on your board, um, kind of defeating the entire purpose of, of this. Uh, so make sure that your water is either filtered or using distilled. Uh, you're also going to need a brush. I'm just using a toothbrush here. And last but not least, we're going to need a beer. Now, this isn't too difficult of a job. This is only going to be about a half beer job. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first up, we wanna take our isopropyl alcohol and we wanna give this a good dousing. And we are going to just let this soak for a few moments and let that break up the flux. After about a minute, you'll start to see the flux turn into this nice little snot consistency. And we're gonna wanna go ahead and take our toothbrush and just give that a nice scrubbing, just to break that up and get that off. Make sure you don't miss any spots. You may need to do this more than once in some cases. And once we're happy with that progress, we can once again take our isopropyl, uh, turn the board sideways, and just give it a good dousing to uh, let that flux get washed off towards the bottom. Now that we've broken up the flux with the isopropyl alcohol, we can set our uh, ultrasonic cleaner to 65 Celsius. It's about 140 Fahrenheit. Uh, just be careful after about six seconds in this fluid, uh, you can be burned. So uh, try not to get your fingers or your hand into there. Uh, definitely don't put your hand into it while it's running. We're gonna wanna set our timer to about five minutes. You can usually go three to five. You don't wanna go too long um, and then a too short, of course, won't get it clean. So we're going to take our board, drop it in and hit start. Very good, our part is ready. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Now again, be careful, this is very hot. So let's pull the basket up and grab our part. There it is. And it is nice and clean. Now we just have to give this a rinse. And just like with the cleaning solution, if you're not confident in the quality of your tap water, make sure you run down to the store and grab some distilled water. But for my purposes, tap water will do just fine for the wash down. So all we need to do is just make sure that we get that solvent off this board.
This final step is optional, but I like to do it just so I'm certain I won't get any deposits on the board. Uh, I just take my, uh, my compressed air gun and go ahead and blow this out. Perfect. Now we just let it air dry and that's it. That's all there is to it.